Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23, being held in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio this morning by Claude Pichavant, who is the Executive Expert in Communication, Navigation and Surveillance at Airbus. Claude, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much for this invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, Airbus is a member of the ITU radio communications sector. Why is WRC 23 important to Airbus? Uh, in fact, uh, WRC 23, as well as uh, all the cycle of ITU, important for Airbus because Airbus is connecting people, uniting people through the various products that we have in Airbus. So I'm speaking about aviation, helicopters, satellite systems, stratospheric also airplanes. So we have a lot of products which are relying on radio communication, radio navigation and radio surveillance. So this is a very important topic for us. Absolutely, because without radio communication, I mean, the, the, the skies would be a chaos. Absolutely. So we really uh, are looking for the outcome of the WRC because we have some topics in which we have an interest. For sure, the most one, uh, which is, I would say, a trendy one, but not only, which is important, is sustainability. And we are convinced that uh, sustainability will be part uh, of our duty, and this is part of our strategy. And so we'll pay for it. And so for me, radio communication is a way also to contribute to sustainability aerospace. And what do you mean by sustainability in terms of aerospace? Sustainability for aerospace is that if you are able to optimize trajectory, routes, then you will optimize and you will have less fuel consumption, less noise, and so we contribute directly to sustainability. And so we have also other means to contribute to sustainability, like satellite networks and systems. Now, WRCs are all about spectrum allocation. What spectrum areas are of interest to the aviation industry and how do they actually impact the aviation industry? Uh, in, in fact, uh, radio allocation is very important because we have twofold. First one is to try to protect the current allocation we have in order to protect our services, which are related to service of life and regulatory of flight, which is for aeronautical uh, not most uh, importance. And we are also looking for other new opportunities for new applications. So to, uh, I will say, try to have a more efficient spectrum. And so if we are able to add additional application services in the existing band, it will be a good way for us. Now, I was just talking to my daughter this morning while she was uh, writing to me from a plane. The advances, certainly, in terms of connectivity on planes are quite incredible. How is that going to be affecting the, the aviation industry? Uh, for sure, uh, people, and particularly passengers, are looking for connectivity on board the aircraft, like at home. So we need to ensure that we are capable to provide this connectivity. Uh, we come back to the sustainable aspect, so we need to ensure that it will be not, at, uh, uh, say, a high cost. And so with efficiency, so again, we come back to the efficiency of the spectrum. And so this is a key asset for us in order to master it for passengers, but also for the airlines. We talked a little bit about outcomes before, but what are some of the outcomes that the aviation industry uh, would like to see emerge from WRC23? Uh, in fact, we have a couple of items and uh, we have what we call the 1.7 agenda items, which is related to space VHF. And another one, which is, uh, I would say, maybe a smaller one, which is uh, 1.9, which is HF Enhance. And those two items will clearly contribute to the optimization of the air traffic management, particularly for uh, ocean region and remote region. So this is for us two main items which will contribute to, I will say, uh, improve uh, the aeronautical, uh, I will say, regularity and safety of flight. I know that you're, you're not a fortune teller, but how do you see the future of Airbus? Uh, I think it's a very ambitious future because we are convinced that and we pioneer today the sustainability of aerospace. Uh, so we want to be part of it. Uh, we have a lot of projects in it. And so radio communication is also a part of it. So this is what we are looking for. We have also other projects like uh, ad, uh, advanced air mobility. And so this is also another way where we see a trend, a growth. And so we need to be part of it. And. Uh drone taxis and that kind of thing? Is that going to be something that you'll be involved with? Uh, I hope we'll be in part of it, for sure. <laughs> this is a, a segment we are looking for also, definitely. <laughs> Possibly here in Dubai. <laughs> Who knows? Next time we're here. Well, Claude Pichamar, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. It's been fascinating talking to you, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do check out our other interviews at our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels such as SoundCloud, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And for further information, check out our website at www.itu.int.
Thanks for tuning in.